Yo, oh, what's good YouTube, man? It's Gary with the Fan TV, man. Back at you on the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe on the videos. Let's get to today's topic, man. So, uh, I like to do the injury reports on Thursday because we get two full days of the injury report. Some guys just don't practice on, the, on Wednesday. So, when we get to Thursday, we get to see a more full picture of what's going on regarding the injury report uh, for the Ravens this week. All right, so now the Ravens injury report is a little lengthy. I'm not going to lie to you here. So, let's get right into it. Odell Beckham. DMP both days. Uh, Jadavion Clowney, he was sick yesterday. Full participant today. Devin Duvernay was limited with a shoulder injury yesterday. Full participant today. Justice Hill, back to back DMPs, foot injury. Marlon Humphrey, back to back DMP, still recovering. Uh, Tyler Lindebaum, back to back DMPs, okay? Odafe Yowe, who, who John Harbaugh said, same with Odell Beckham, was that the injury was not that serious. Back to back DMPs did not practice. Ronnie Stanley, back-to-back -back DMPs, all right? And Marcus Williams, back-to-back -back DMPs. All right. Also, uh, I didn't mention it, didn't do a video about it, but uh, Darius Washington obviously is um, on IR. They say he has an upper chest injury, so he's going to be out at least uh, four weeks, if not more, while, while he recovers. That's a big blow to the Ravens, considering that, one, he was just playing well. Like I, That's just the main thing. Uh, and two, that the, the slot corner position that was kind of shored up by him is now a weakness once again. They're going to probably put Arthur Marlette in there. But at the same time, Arthur Marlette hasn't really played a lot, if we're being honest, during out this uh, offseason process. He got signed by the Ravens, came in training camp, uh, practiced a little bit, then got hurt. Um, and then didn't make the original 53. He's on the practice squad. So now we're calling a guy that now you're calling him probably into full action. Um, we'll see how that goes. Ravens got the Colts, you know what I mean? We'll see how that affects the team. But just talking about some of the guys on this injury report list, um, it's good to see that Jadavion Clowney and David DuVernay are back as full participants. That's really the only two guys that have changed on this list. Um, the concerning thing is that, um, a couple of guys. Well, Odell Beckham, you know, his injury was something that was thought to be, uh, something minor he can recover from and maybe even play this week. But maybe he'll still play this week and he just won't practice. We'll have to see on that. Uh, but this ankle injury is something that's been bothering him and nagging, nagging at him, excuse me, uh, and since like the latter part of training camp, right? Um, now, if you remember, going back to week one, he popped up late injury report um, with an ankle injury, right? And he told, you know, he was on it pretty much on Twitter saying all fake news, whatever. But obviously something is going on with that ankle, right? All right. Uh, Justice Hill, unfortunate because he played really well versus the Bengals. Um, if you look at how the game, if you really watch the game, how the game was playing, you could tell that Ty Munkin really, really liked uh, Justice Hill and his style of running back, a guy who could run the ball and catch the ball in the backfield. Um, with him, back to back the MPs, we'll see how he plays, if he plays, excuse me. But that makes sense because the Ravens did sign King and Drake to the practice squad. And as we know, last year, King and Drake was on the Ravens and has actually had a couple of weeks where he was the bright spot of the Ravens offense, right? You know, that was a time when J.K. Dallas was, was recovering from injury and everything like that. King and Drake was one of the guys on the offense actually pushing the offense forward. So um, I'm a fan of King and Drake and how he plays and even more so in a Todd Munkin offense where, once again, he had that same kind of skill set as Justice Hill. Not as fast and maybe even as explosive, but a guy that can catch the ball and run the ball effectively. Give you both of those options, him and Gus, if that's the parent they decide to go with. Um, I think the Ravens would be fine with that, right? Um, I've mentioned plenty of times that Melvin Gordon, I'm just not too much of a fan of him as of right now. I think that burst and explosion that Melvin Gordon used to have is really not all there anymore. And that happens to running backs as they get well, happens to all NFL players, but you know. But running backs it happens quicker than most, it seems like, you know, because all the hits that they take and everything like that. But Melvin Gordon, I don't know if he's the Going into the game, I have to say, with Melvin Gordon and and Gus Edwards, to me, is not enough, you know, thunder lightning. It's kind of having the two of the same kind of running backs. So, if Justice Hill can't go, I would love to see King and Drake elevated from practice squad and into the onto the fifty three and let Gus be RB one and let King and Drake kind of change the pace back kind of thing. I would love to see that if that happens to be. Um, and then we gotta talk about. Well, Marcus Williams is on IR. No, sorry. Take that back. He's not on IR. They decided not to put him on IR, which means that he's not going to miss four weeks automatically. So maybe the Ravens feel like he can come back shorter than that. Um, doesn't look like he's going to have surgery on it. So it's going to be, I guess, how much can he get it, the pain to a manageable level so he could suit up and play in the game. So we'll see about that. 
But what I wanted to talk about really was the offensive line, right? Um, Tyler Linderbaum, Ronnie Stanley, still DMPs back to back, uh, back to back practices. Uh, obviously didn't play versus the Bengals. This offensive line held up really, really well against a, uh, I would say, a pretty good Bengals defensive line, right? Uh, you know, DJ Reader, BJ Hill, um, uh, uh, Sam Hubbard, not Sam, Sam Hubbard, yeah, Hubbard, um, and then obviously Trey Henderson. You know, what I mean, they, they they got some guys on there on, on their defensive line. Is my point. So they go against the Colts. So the Colts aren't, I won't say, is, is it as good as the Bengals up front, but the Colts still have a guy like the Forest Buckner who will get after you. So. Um, this this offensive line for the Ravens is going to be challenged once again to hold up. And if we're going off last week, they should be able to. Now, every football game is different. Just because you did something versus one opponent, don't mean you can do it against the next, right? We all know that it's football, any given Sunday kind of thing. But I'm very, very encouraged by how the offensive line looked last week. That if they have to be the same five that goes out there again, that Lamar Jackson is off the line can be on schedule, and Lamar Jackson most importantly can be protected by this offensive line. All right, so that's your Ravens injury report. That's kind of my thoughts on what everything that's going on. As we know, man, with football, it's as as the season goes on, injuries start to stack up, and that's what the Ravens are right now. We know we we were hoping maybe Marlon Humphrey comes back this week. I'm not saying that as likely. He didn't practice the first two days. I doubt they won't. They're make him practice one day and then throw him out there on the field. That doesn't seem like something the Ravens would do. So I would say Marlon Humphrey's probably out. We'll see what happens with Odell. We'll see what happens with um, Justice Hill. I would say that Linderbaum and Ronnie Stanley are also probably guys that are probably going to be out as well. So the Ravens are kind of still down this, um, as they were last week, the same amount of starters, really. Nothing has really changed. Now they're not really getting anybody back off the injury report it seems like all right and they may be even add losing more guys in a odafe Owe and odell beckham so we'll see what happens when the game status comes out on friday but that's your ravens report for today man give me your thoughts on it and if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button man more ravens content to come but it's gabriel just another fan tv i'm out